Good morning. We're glad you're here to worship with us and thank you for coming. Let us now pray. Merciful God, we gather this morning to celebrate the gift of your dear Son, Jesus Christ. We bless you for the peace he brings to human homes, for the goodwill he teaches to everyone, for the glory of your, your goodness shining in his face, for his lowly birth and his rest in the manger, for the pure tenderness of his mother Mary, for the fatherly care that protected him, for the divine grace that sent the holy child to be the savior of the world. In praying and praising, in giving and receiving, in eating and drinking, in singing and making merry, in parents' gladness and their children's mirth, in dear memories of those who have departed, in precious friendships for those who are here, in kind wishes for those who are far away, by welcoming strangers, by keeping the music of the angels' song here in this place. God help us everyone to share the blessing of Jesus in whose name we keep Christmas and whose words as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, Please stand and join with us in the opening hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful. It's printed in your bulletin.
Today is the third Sunday of Advent, the Sunday of joy. Our joy is in God and in his son, Jesus Christ. Like peace, joy is a gift from God. It overtakes us and fills us when we remember what God has done and what he has promised to do. We light this candle today to remind us that Christ came and is coming so that all people might have a rich and abundant life. We thank God for the hope he gives us, for the peace he bestows, and for the joy he pours into our hearts. Let us pray. O oh God of joy, Emmanuel, send your light into our hearts at this time. Help us to be ready for the time of Christ's appearing. Fix our hearts and our minds upon those things you have done and those you have promised to do, that we may have the joy you have promised. As we worship you, strengthen us so that we may always do your will and so bless you and the world you have made. Amen.
from Genesis 12. Then the Lord spoke to Abraham and made this promise, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed. Isaiah 9, the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them the light has shined. For unto us is born, a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. From Isaiah 11, a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord.
Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel said unto her, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind, what manner of greeting should this be? And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and will call his name Jesus.
And from the second chapter of Luke, and it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And so all went to be registered, everyone into his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And so it was while they were there, the first, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
from Luke 2. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, peace to those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had learned from this child. And all who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. And now, please stand if you are able and join us in seeing angels we have heard on high, as found in your bulletin.
from Matthew 2. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. And now, please come forward, if you are able, as the Magi's did when offering their gifts to the Christ child centuries ago. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
And now, as our service draws to a close, receive this blessing. The light of the Christmas star to you. The warmth of home and hearth to you. The cheer and goodwill of friends to you. The hope of a childlike heart to you. The joy of a thousand angels to you. The love of the sun and God's peace to you. Go, Go now, now in, in peace, peace and, and let, let Christmas, Christmas begin. begin.
let Jesus' presence fill your Christmas with joy and praise. Amen. Amen. Amen.